All right, besides the offensive line, where do the Broncos need the most improvement? Backup quarterback. Where, where do they need to step it up? Backup quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> what part of the game? Tell me an individual. Tell me a, a, a linebacker position. Like I said, because uh, we don't know if Danny Trevathan can come back to the way he was. And I know everybody's going, whoa, 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 whoa. They got four linebackers. Devon Miller, you know, they got DeMarcus Ware. They got two. But the two inside linebackers, you, Brandon Marshall with the problems that he that developed again with the foot injury after he had a knee injury at the end of last year, and he didn't really play well in the playoff game. He didn't play very much, did he? And Trevathan... And by the way, when, when Brandon Marshall was healthy, he was ranked one of the best outside linebackers in this league. Sure. But now he's moved into inside linebacker. Trevathan had two knee issues. He pulled up his pants and showed us his knee here, and it's a major scar. And that last one, it's the Kyrie Lur uh, Irving kind of thing where you... When you start to mess with a kneecap, you know, ACLs they know how to deal with and they can make them even better than before. Kneecaps, I think, based at least on my observations over the years, that's a major, major problem. All right, so, so you think so that you think linebacker linebackers. play. They need to find linebackers in case Marshall or Trevathan can't so make it, or they, they, need, to, they need those guys they need to get healthy. Lance Burrow, uh, who was drafted out of LSU, that we didn't really see much of. They got the kid that came in as a free agent that they played with with the Raiders and played some the last couple of games, got into the lineup. Davis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's kind of there. And uh, who's the other guy who sat out most of, sat out all of last oh, year? They've got Stevie Johnson, Stevie too. Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Right, what do you, where, where do you think they need to improve besides the <laughs> offensive line? Uh, right in the middle of that defensive line. Um, I don't want to give Sly Williams a hard time, but he's had enough time that I – haven't seen him make a major impact yet, and he's got to make a major impact, or else the rest of this defense with, am I counting right? One, two, three, five Pro Bowl defenders. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then those five Pro Bowlers can't do their thing. I think the pass rush needs to be better. Okay. Uh, and, they, and they've got the elements to get it done. They just didn't do it last year because they did play such a vanilla style. But when you've got the Marcus Ware and you've got Von Miller and you've got Shane Ray as your first round draft pick, um, this is a team that, that was ranked, I think, ninth in the NFL in sacks with 41 sacks. You got those guys on the field, you need to be better than ninth. Oh. And, and, and also, a pass rush will get you more interceptions. They weren't ranked very high in interceptions either. So. Get, especially in this day and age, it's a passing league. We know that. You need a better pass rush. They've got the personnel to do it. Was DeMarcus Ware's productivity or lack thereof in the second half of the season, was that bad scheme or was that an old player getting tired? Both. Okay. May I say both? Sure. I think it was both. I, I think it was more of the latter. I think, I think he is. Wade Phillips is talking big about him. But I think this is a guy that's past his prime. We'd all agree on that. I think he's way past his prime. I think he, that's why. But if you spot play him, are they okay? Well, but the question becomes then on passing downs, who are you taking out? Are you taking out the linebackers I've talked about? Are you taking out both of them or one of them? Are you taking out the Marcus Ware and putting Shane Ray in? We keep hearing about, ooh, when they put all three in the lineup, Who's Shane Ray going to replace? Where is he going to line up on both sides? I, I'm i not sure, and I trust in Wade, I trust, but I'm not sure how the, that's going to all play out. Of I mean, last year is a very simple thing. Take out the middle linebacker, put in an extra cornerback, uh, Bradley Roby. Uh, I just don't know. I mean, are they going to take out Brandon Marshall, who you said was a great outside linebacker? Are they going to take Dravathan out? Are they going to take Ware out? What are they going to do? I'm the same way about Sly Williams, I mean, he's talking, I think, I think he's you're talking a good, good game. You're going to get a lot of different looks, Wood. That's what I think Wade is going to do. He's going to, he's going to give you a lot of different looks. And you mentioned scheme, Mark. Um, was it scheme or was it DeMarcus Ware's age? Um, they played a very vanilla Agreed. base defense. Everybody knew how they were going to line up, and everybody knew where the defenders were coming from. They very rarely changed it up unless it was an obvious passing down, long yardage, and then you put in a nickel back or a sixth defensive back. I, I felt that that vanilla scheme never gave us a good chance to see what T.J. Ward could really Agreed. do. You know, and T.J. Ward would agree with you, too. If, if, you're not, if you don't have T.J. Ward in the box or blitzing, 
then why is he on your team? That's that's what he does best. So let him do what he does best. But he and, says to us, yeah. just sitting right there, and he was there twice, saying, "I'm so excited to go back and play safety that I was a linebacker all last year." Yeah. Well, so his opinion is that he was ineffective. That he was placed in an ineffective position. That he was. The, ma the extra man in the box all the time. But you say, and Wade, you trust, and I think you're right, and I think the hallmark of Wade, Wade's defenses are I will put my players in a position to do what they do best. Yep. And, and, and with, with Shane Ray, I think if you rotate him in with DeMarcus Ware, maybe DeMarcus Ware plays into November and December better, maybe he's fresher, but I think Shane Ray is here to replace DeMarcus Ware. Oh, of I, th course. I mean, I think he, he yeah. and, and, and not just in 2016, I think maybe on October 2nd. Maybe. That segment sponsored by John Elway Chevrolet, Colorado's number one Chevy dealer.